Hello everyone, today I want to share with you how to automatically hide selected rows based on cell value. Uh, so if you're familiar with my uh, channel, this is actually derived uh, from the comments. Um, and thank, thanks for um, all of you who leave the comments. So it's actually coming uh, from a question that I got, which is, um, so in this video, um, as a recap, we basically showed ways that we can um, hide different chunks of uh, rows and columns based uh, by the codes. So, and now I'm getting a question that like, what if we want to just hide selected rows? Let's say we don't want to hide row from eight to 16. We want to hide row eight, row 10, um, row 14, row 15. Um, how do we do that? So um, there are a couple of ways to do it. First, uh, you can still just write them in different chunks. So for example, uh, here we're saying that we are hiding row 19 to 25. The height hidden is true. Uh, you can just continue to do that. I just have a few uh, lines of codes just uh, specifying which rows you want to hide. Um, that still works like a charm. Um, and today I'm showing another way to do it. Uh, it's just a small tweak, um, but it may be handy for someone. Um, it depends on what cases you have. So let's come back to this original um, spreadsheet. So I'm showing you two salary grade structures, um, and I'm showing two countries. One is Canada, one is India. Um, if you're wondering how I did the drop down, it uh, it's in the data data validation, and then you allow list, and then you put in basically whatever content that you want to put in. Um, and then now instead of just showing one table versus the other, um, I actually want, when I select, I only want to show selected grades. Let's say I only want to show uh, grade one, three, five, seven, when I select Canada. And then for India, um, because I don't have grade one, two, three, um, I just want to show grade five and seven for India. So let's look at the codes that I made. Um, it, it is um, much alike for the top part. It's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, a comment here saying that I only want to show grade one, three, five, seven. Uh, just help me to keep track of my codes. So basically I'm saying that if my content is equal to Canada selected grades, then I'm still hiding this table. Um, but uh, in the first table, I'm hiding a uh, range. Note that this is a range. Um, this is not a row. I'm hiding range um, A9. So I'm basically, know that I'm basically sele selecting cells, not rows here. So I'm s selecting range A9, basically row 9, A11, A13. Um, I'm making those dis uh, dis uh, selections based on my requirement, um, 16, 17, 8. And then I still have the entire row. So I know that when I have this code, I want to select those cells. And now I want to select the entire rows for those cells. And those rows, I want them to be hidden. And then you do the same thing for the rows that you want to show. Um, and then um, have the double quote close, uh, close a bracket and then just uh, make sure that all those rows um, are showing here. And then you do the same thing for India. So, um, so basically, um, after you have done that, let's try to see how it works here. So this is Canada. Nothing is hidden now. Now let me select India. So you can see that for India, only grade five and seven is showing. And then for Canada, uh, grade one, three, five, seven are showing. So uh, this is another really handy way. Some people like it because instead of, of having like multiple line of codes, you can just have one line of codes and then putting all the uh, all the rows that you want to hide or not. Um, so I, I'm kind of neutral to both. Um, I think if you don't have a small, uh, you, if you don't have a large set, uh, data set, um, if you just need to manually input them just one time, then hopefully it works for the future, then um, I have no um, preference of how, whether you do it in the range format or in the range code or the uh, row format. Uh, if you do deal with large data set, maybe we will revisit because that might be a chance where Excel is not a good option to do that. But anyhow, that is everything that I want to share with you today, and uh, I hope that you like it.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.